when Tom Robinell moved in here, it took me nine years to know what he was. And I found that out on TV when they was trying to make trouble with him. What's good, y'all? Y'all keep begging me to do another Act Black video. So we came all the way to the most racist town in the whole United States to knock out this one. Big, big shout out to my dogs, Gideon and Nico. The videos they did here was absolutely insane. But now it's time to put some Young Pootie P flavor into it. Let's go talk with the public. Let's go see what the fuck going on in the most racist town in America. It's Young Pootie P. Fuck up here, we clap him. Put the M on the J pack, say he need all the packets. Why the fuck these taxes? Put the drop on the spot, bro, to get the clappers. Be burning like his man. Let me live till I can't live no more. And let me love. That's what you made me for. And let me sing to a full dance floor for the rest of my days. And let me die on a honky tonk stage. Cash price. Act black. Act black for a cash prize. What about the I have a dream speech by Martin Luther King? He goes, I have a dream. Wait, I thought it was I'm not getting up. I don't know. That was Rosa Parks. I have a dream that all the white kids and black kids will hold hands one day walking down the street. So you coming to the cookout, my brother? Yeah, so we coming to the cookout. Yeah, we got go the Kool-Aid and the fried chicken. Are you coming to the cookout, my brother? Yeah, so we coming to the cookout. Yeah, we got go the Kool-Aid and uh, fried chicken. The shoddies. Hey, y'all come out to the cookout tonight. We're going to have the Kool-Aid, the uh, fried chicken, and the shoddies. Who was the baddest black celebrity? <laughs> who's trying Dirt. to think? No. Oh, who's Will Smith's wife? Uh, the one that where he slapped Kevin Rock. Did he talk about? Nick called a nigga Kevin Rock. Gang shit, no lame shit. Act black. Thought we'd know where to start. <laughs> have you ever been to Slab City? Okay. Barely been out of Harrison. Where's like one place where you like really want to go? Probably Memphis because like the barbecue. So you like a more of like a CMG Yo Gotti fan or were you like low key more fucking with like Key Glock and them? Not a clue. How did Young Dolph touch you? Add black. I'd rather not. Oh, I thought you was doing the um, Tiana Trump. If you just had to say like fuck it and like act black, how would you do that? Yo. All up here? Oh. Wait, what? Yo. What is like a, a, a like stereotype then? I want to be honest, I don't know what a stereotype is. So, stereotype, um, you know your car radio? So I have Bose in my car, so my stereotype is Bose, but other radios might have like the Beats audio. Y'all niggas hire? Hmm? Or like y'all niggas hire? Walmart, yeah. What's the like in-word policy at work? Am I able to use it with like other people? Like let's say like it's my first day, right? And I'm like, yo, what's up, my nigga? You trying to get these pants? Would that be, would I get a raise? What's good, nigga? Yo, chicken and pants. Like, you think that would get the sale? Most likely, yeah. Sell me these pants. Would you like to buy some pants? They're cool. You know who Jeffree Star is? I don't like so. Just based off that name, Smasher Pass. You look like Morgan Wallen. You got that before? Morgan Wallen? I could kind of see that. Bro, you look just like him. You never got, got that before. And the mustache. So you saying that he's cute, in other words? I mean, he's handsome. Long night with the boys. Club closed at 2 a.m. and it's 1.58. Morgan Wallen comes up to you and says, Would you let him give you a head? Give me what? Would you let him at least flick the little tip of it a little bit? No. Nah, but like, say, say if he like, thoughts on James Charles? Oh, no. I've... For a cash prize. Act black. What's a cash prize? Yo, man, what's up? It's been a while. Nice seeing you again. Morgan, I need you to put some bass in that voice, man. Yo, man. How you doing, man? It's been a while. Like what you've done with the dreads. Looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you've done with the dreads. Yo, what's up, man? Been a while. I like what you've done with the dreads. Nah, these niggas is hell. Wow, I like what you've done with the dreads. Have you ever heard these of black guys like that? Hell. No. Would you let Cardi B sit in your face? Be honest. No. Nah, nah, be honest. Why not? No. Why not? Is it too big? Now, guys, I'm not racist. <laughs> Like, Anytime they say I'm not racist before making a statement, this shit's about to be real racist. Like keeping my genetics pure. No. I, no, I, no it's, I've it's, had so it's, many it's black, I've had black friends. No, before. it's. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just like keeping it pure. What I, if it's Zendaya? You know who that is from yeah. Euphoria? Ooh, that yeah. would, that'd be a hard one, man. She is pretty beautiful. But hey no. Guys, How you doing? Probably, we don't allow anybody to record in the store. Wait, do you want to hold it for us then and be the no, camera there? No, we don't allow it. Oh, I, th th I thought he was jealous because he was doing it. Can we just finish this up really quick? It's only going to take three more hours. Like I said, I'm not Guarantee one of these dad, niggas start talking like Vince McMahon. <laughs>
Mom and dad divorced, he got with a woman, and that usually ch mixed children don't come out right, or brothers have right. to C-sections. Yeah. Because yeah. the kid's too big. And there's more than just that. Though. I kind of, I don't know, in a way, I kind of feel like that. In a way, too. Yeah. All my friends are white, you know? And I've, I've always, all right, well, if I grew up like that, keep it like it. Fuck yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? By me having that mindset, in a way, is it wrong for me to try to hook up? And have a kid with a white girl? What if it's like, alright, let's start a good strand of blacks. Cause I'm a patriot. I don't think it should happen. If it does, I mean, heck, you can't do anything about it. Do you think that this is the most racist town in America? Mmm, I don't know for sure. So we over here fully undercover mode, and uh, we trying to talk to people. But here's the thing that I keep missing on camera. Every time we stop at like a gas station or something, we always get compliments on our shirts and everything. My filmer got a Let's Go Brandon shirt on. But we was just in the car chilling, eating. Three dudes walked up, gave us the head nod, and showed us the thumbs up, pointing at our shirts. Just because we were wearing this, bro. Feels like I'm playing Grand Theft Auto, went into the garage after I had five stars. Right now, we finna head to Zinc, Arkansas right now. I think Arkansas is where the leader of the KKK live. From the locals, I heard it's nothing but a dirt road town. I just want to see, is there anybody over there that will act black? End of the road right now, and it's dirt, dude. It's a dirt road. I thought it was, nah, bro. Nah, nigga. Bro. Nah, dog. Hey, get your phone out, nigga. Yeah, bro. Let's, let's fucking turn around, bro. This is a dirt road town, bro. Where are the hanky pods? Should I talk to that dude over there? The, the dude? Yeah. yeah. What should I say? I have lived here all my life. When Tom... Why is this nigga always around, bro? Tom Robinette moved in here. It took me nine years to know what he was. And I found that out on TV when they was trying to make trouble with him. They just said the, the leader, the Grand Wizard of the KKK lives in Zinc. Act black. My area of expertise is not black people, it's white people. Do you know who this is? Not a clue. Take a guess. Some fella in sunglasses. What do you think he do for a like, living? If you had to flip a coin and it was like a billion dollars if you get it right and no dollars if you get it wrong, would you say that he does country music? Uh, I, I, but like, what about it is like, oh, like he's definitely not a country singer. I just can't see him in a pair of bib overhauls with a banjo. <laughs> His name was Chief Keith. He's from 0600 block. You ever heard of Chirac? See, we live in a modern world where our former white nations can't be white nations anymore. Any white neighborhoods can't be exclusively white anymore. I got enough problems around white people. Like, right. They're not perfect. Now imagine they were the same thing but had melanin in them. Holy fuck, right? You wouldn't want me as your neighbor? No. Nah. Have you ever heard of the Kodak Bop? Nope. I got a four five, the bitch got that's the kid. Pop it on the blitz. I think I seen something like that on a comedy show. Right. Am I your favorite black guy you ever met? No. Is there any African American in this world that you like more than a white person? Depends on both. Me or this white rock right here? Be honest. Don't lie to me. The rock. It's so the nigga looked at the oh, chat, bro. Chat. The nigga looked at the rock and was like, that's a nice rock. Bro, I'm not going to lie. This shit's crazy. He said, me or this rock right here. Nigga looked at the rock and was like, Service a purpose. There's a lot of those little white rocks. We got a road. What if I move next door? <laughs> well, there's nothing I can legally do about it. Have you ever slept with a black girl? No. Keep it a buck. You ever like? Would you ever sleep with a black girl? No. What's your type, by the way? I don't have any type. Like, what about it? Uh, to start with, I don't do that. Dre and Michelle. No. Would you let her sit on your face though? Like, no. Like, you've never been like down bad 2 a.m. You damn near about to explode, and it's like, damn. You wouldn't even just let, like, Megan Stallion, like, low-key, like, like no. sit on you? No. I don't in indiscriminately chase everything. What uh, do you usually chase? Uh, I usually chase a bag. Who's your favorite black icon? Rondo oh, number nine? Never heard of it. $500,000 or dinner with Jay-Z? $500,000. Why? It's worth something. <laughs> Labor Day. This nigga is different, bro. Day or Black History Month? Labor Day. If it was up to you, would you want all black people gone? I wouldn't want to be around them. If you was to go to L.A., who would you check in with? I would not go to L.A. You wouldn't be over there in, like, Slauston and, like, Crenshaw? Would you ever go to the Bronx? I wouldn't go back to any part of New York. Thoughts on Bronx drill rap? None. No, I like classical music. <laughs> Niggas ain't throwing no chops. Niggas outside ain't throwing no cops. Stay. 
Swole well, just saw my op. He really bopping his ass get flopped. Look. Trash. You want to go to like a concert with? Now, let's be honest. Is he lying? Swole well, just saw my op. He really bopping his ass get flopped. Look. Trash. You. <laughs> <laughs> he said. Trash. Nah, is he lying? Hello. Is he lying? That's the real thing. Swole well, just saw my op. He really bopping his ass get flopped. Trash. You want to go to like a concert with it or nothing? No. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm out of my element. Wheezy F, baby, and the F is for phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if he says so. Who do you think was the best president in the last 20 years? Obama. Wow, really? He made everything racial overnight. Oh, shit. That took <laughs> a motherfucking turn. So you said Obama because you liked that he made it racial. Oh, yeah. So would you consider Obama the, like, goat? Goat? The greatest of all time. No. Do you think Obama did something that Tom Robb can't? Well, come on now. I don't like any president we've had in my lifetime. You don't like Trump? No. Fuck. So I'm not. I'm not like low key like dripping at all. <laughs> he didn't pardon the uh, January 6 people that were his people, but he did pardon a lot of rich people. He did pardon Kodak Black, and Kodak Black do be putting on for Broward. I don't like a traitor. Who was the greatest basketball player of all time? I have no idea. Just say Larry Bird. He's white. Uh, <laughs> Just say it. Who's the greatest rapper of all time? Come on. It I starts have not with a e. clue. It's your favorite candy. Eminem. Never. Uh, I'm out of my element. Who is? This. Nigga don't give a fuck about none of that. You bitch ass niggas be hiding. We real head hunters, man. Bitch ass nigga, and you caught the kid and left in the hole and left another nigga fan in the place. Don't have a clue. Nope. His name is Famous Dex. You ever heard of him? Nope. Do I look stupid? Be honest. Uh, yeah, uh, Dexter. You didn't show me a dance move. Right. Let me show you one of my moves. Right. Let me show you. Why he got that radio? You one of my moves. Can you get sturdy? Sturdy? Nope. How many black people usually come through here a day? None. Would you ever invite me over to have dinner? Oh no. What if a random <laughs> Oh no! Nah, this nigga's hilarious. None. Would you ever invite me over to have dinner? Oh no. What if a random white guy came and was like, No. Mm, I'm hungry, I get full. What if I want to bring you back to the hood just so you could get experience and then you could be like, Oh shit, look at this jungle. I've been around the hood before. Okay. Didn't much like it. Now, when you was there, did you kind of consider yourself like hood nigga? No. I was passing through. I made a wrong turn coming down here and went through Memphrica. Memphrica? Memphrica. Hey, cats! Appreciate it two months, three months. Was Africa. Memphrica is fucking crazy. Would you ever go to Africa? For what? <laughs> to see all the great blacks. What's your pronouns? I'm a male. I'm a man. I'm a he. I don't get into that mentally ill stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm Z, sir. What you feel about that? Mental illness is contagious. Last question. I didn't get a hotel. Can I sleep over at your shit tonight, gang? Oh, no. My young boy come back to the block with his Rambo. Yeah, of course it's a nano. I actually like that idea a lot. I'm very yeah. much into Bollywood. Salapan? Are you doing what? For sure. <laughs> Never that. Jesus, nigga. You want to sit on the couch? Baby, you look stupid. I've been around the hood before. You know what? I'm from Ohio. Is this jail? I am only an Armenian. You already seen the CMOS. Oh, no. Me and Pooty is not beefing. That's my little sister. Okay. Does your dog like black people? You, you like train him to bite the blacks harder? No, I haven't had anybody volunteer. You volunteer? <laughs> oh, shit! Do you like blacks? Oh, fuck! You like a bar, your dog? Uh, nah, that's crazy. That was a good video, though, Pootie. I like that.